Keith, just, see, just come back to Adam Eder, uh, a, a moment ago, you mentioned him. Um, this was a guy that was held up by Celtic fans as, look, this is the lack of investment. We've got this guy and couldn't get a game for Norwich. He's been brilliant so far. Five goals in five games. And I would even suggest, I don't know where Celtic would be without him, <laughs> to be honest, in the last few weeks. Yeah, well, he's, I mean, his goals have kept it, kept it ticking along, haven't it? He's, he's, he's pulled him out of fire a couple of times. Um, mm-hmm. At Easter Road and again at Fur Park. Great header again last night. I like the look of him. Um, I, I'm not saying that he is the quality centre forward that, that I think Celtic fans would be uh, had been hoping for. Um, but he's, he's not far off. You know, he's, he's, he's got a talent. He's physical. He's pacey. Uh, he's terrific in the air. Um, looks to have the, a, a good mentality in terms of determination to get out there and play. At times you might look at Kyogo this season and wonder how happy he is out there. Is his body language good? Does he is he not enjoying himself the way that he used to? Is it not is it not quite lighting his fire the way it did uh, under Ange Postecoglou? I don't know, but either looks as if he wants to be out there and uh, and is enjoying being part of it and uh, and and is enjoying the responsibility and the intensity. Um, look, I think it's it's not unfair to for Celtic fans to say, wait a minute, the third best striker at Norwich, is that really all that we can deliver here? But And, and I think one of the key parts of this when it came down to his recruitment was Brendan Rodgers was handed a list from the recruitment department, the department of available players and he, he went straight to Ida's name. So I like him. So he had a personal knowledge of him, which differs from maybe some of the other guys that have been brought in. Um, but Rogers made went to some lengths to say that when that list got handed to him, Ida's name jumped out. So yes, it did feel all very eleventh hour, and you know maybe if um, if uh, Norwich hadn't made their move to get Pierre Van Hooydonk's son, who was supposed to be a long term target for Celtic, then it, the move might never have transpired. But it did. I just think it's interesting and worthy of noting that that was a name that Rogers selected from the list as opposed to, you know, just being handed somebody, you know, who he didn't have great prior knowledge of. He liked either from the start. And you and you're starting to see why. 